Okay, so in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can expand out more than one bracket. But just as a warm up, let's take a look at expanding out where we've got something outside of one bracket. So for example, let's say we've got to expand out 3x, which is outside of x squared plus 2x minus 9. Okay, and hopefully this is somewhat familiar to you from last year. If not, if this doesn't make sense, then definitely go and check out the introductory video to expanding out some of these algebraic expressions. But what we're going to do here is we're gonna multiply the three X into the X squared, and that gives us three X cubed. We then expand the three X into the two X, which gives us six X squared. And we then expand our three X into our minus nine, and that will give us minus 27x. So that's the expanded out version of this uh, 3x outside of this one bracket. We're now gonna take a look at expanding out situations where we've got more than one bracket. So let's take a look at, for example, how can we expand out x plus three times x plus two, for example. So how are we gonna expand this out? Well, the same principle applies. We've got to get everything from this side expanding into this side. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use something called the crab clause. So we're gonna do our x here into our x over this side. So that gives us our x squared. We're then gonna add on the x times by the two. Okay, so there's sort of our two crab clause coming in underneath and that's gonna be two x. We then have to do the same thing with the three. So the three is gonna come over the top here to this x, just like the other x did, and we end up with plus three x. And then the three comes over into this two as well, just like the x did, and that would be plus six. So we've got these kind of funky looking crab claws here, two claws going underneath and two claws going over the top. The important thing that everything from one bracket has to go into everything from the other bracket. So we end up with x squared plus 2x plus 3x plus 6. And of course we can simplify this down as x squared plus 5x plus 6. So just grouping this 2x and this 3x together here. Let's do another example to try and get this to, to sort of click and make some more sense. Let's say that we've got one where we've got x minus 4 times by x plus 3. So we're now going to add in a, a negative into this situation. Well, the same principle applies, okay? So, so nothing gets any scarier. The same principle applies. We do this x over to this x here. Oh, this x over to this x, and that gives us x squared. And then we do the same thing, the x, but this time over to the three. So we're creating our crab claws underneath, plus three x. And then we do our minus four to our x. So we're gonna get minus four x. And then we do our minus four over to this three here, and that gives us minus 12. And of course, we could simplify this down by grouping these x terms together. We get x squared, and then plus three minus four is minus one x, and then the minus 12 on the end. So that would be the final answer for the expansion of these brackets. Let's do another one. We've got two more examples to go. Come over here, we'll go back to green again. This time I'm gonna expand out these two brackets, two x minus nine, and 3x plus 4. Okay, so the same principle applies. We've got to get our crab clause. So everything from one side to everything into the other side, into these brackets. So starting off with this 2x. 2x times 3x. Well, that gives us 6x squared. Then we do our 2x times our positive 4. So that is plus 8x. And then I'm going to move over to this minus 9. Minus 9 times 3x is minus 27x. And then we do our minus nine times our positive four. Okay, so minus 36. And of course we can group these bits here together. So we're gonna get six x squared, take 19x, take 36. Okay, so that would be the simplified expansion of these two brackets. Now the final one that I want to do to show how this can, the, pardon the pun, this can expand, okay, so this thing can expand into more situations, is let's say that we've got, um, do it in blue, we've got 2x squared minus 9x 
plus four in one bracket. So we're getting more terms in one of our brackets. Okay, the same idea applies. So you'll see the natural extension, the natural expansion of this. So let's go for our two x squared term. That goes over to this three x here. Okay, so we end up with six x cubed. And then we have to do our two x squared term over to this positive five. So we get plus 10 x squared. So the same principles applying. Now we're gonna do our minus nine x, and I'll pick a different color just so you can follow the arrows a little bit easier. This minus nine x goes to this three x as per before. And we get minus 27 x squared here. And then the minus nine x is going to go over to this positive five. And we end up here with minus 45 x. Okay, so the same idea applies. We keep going, and this time we'll go in purple. Same thing happens for the four. So we do the four times the three x here. So we get plus 12 x. And then we do the four times the five. We get plus 20. So the same idea uh, applies. We just continue to naturally extend this no matter how many terms we've got in no matter how many brackets. Okay, so can we simplify some of this down? Most definitely. Um, we've only got one x cubed term, so that's gonna stay as it is. How many x squared terms have we got? We've got one here and one here. So 10 minus 27 will give us minus 17 x squared. And then we'll look for our x terms, this one here and this one here. So minus 45 plus 12 will give us minus uh, 33, minus 33 x. And then our plus 20 is our only constant on the end. And that would be the expanded out version of these two brackets here. So that's it for expanding out um, some of these uh, algebraic expressions where we've got to expand out more than one bracket.